Police are describing it as an ambush shooting that happened outside of a recreational center early this morning in Luzerne County. Eyewitness News was the first to tell you about this incident this morning at 11 a.m. And the I-Team's Andy Mahalshik is in our control center with the latest on this one. Andy? Well, Nick, right now, police say they have identified all of the would-be victims, six altogether, the targets of the yet as yet unknown shooter. They were not injured, but a man who was asleep in a nearby home had a very close call when those gunshots rang out. I heard breaking glass and came out. I thought a picture fell off the wall. That was it. So I called 911. The voice of a man who was asleep inside a home located near the Cunningham Valley Civic Organization Recreational Center, or CVCO. He did not want to be identified, saying he fears for his safety. But off camera, he tells me a bullet came through his window while he was sleeping just feet away. What do you think now, knowing that it was a gunshot? Oh, a little scary for this uh, area. The violence erupted just after midnight. When people who rented the gym last night here at the Cunningham CVCO, when they exited, they were fired upon. Um, they retreated back into the building. Uh, the actors then fled in an unknown direction. Six men were seen leaving the CVCO. State police say surveillance video from the rec center shows three flashes from the gunfire. A second bullet hit a nearby garage. Troopers spent much of the morning looking for evidence in and near the CVCO. Investigators also checked with nearby hospitals for possible victims. None were reported. The shooting stunned many in the small, close-knit community. I was totally shocked. Shocked. A little Cunningham. You don't expect things like that to happen, but people are moving around every day. CVCO officials say they are taking steps to make sure folks who use their rec center are safe. The CVCO board takes this type of an event very seriously, and we will work closely with not only the state police, but also the Cunningham police in the future to make sure that these events don't happen again, and we may even be taking some additional safety steps and measures. And troopers believe there was one shooter, but are not sure how many people may have been with that shooter. They also say they are continuing to track down and interview the would-be targets of that shooting, and they point out none of them came forward after that shooting. Reporting in the Control Center, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. Andy, thanks for the update. And state police are now asking that anyone with information about that shooting to urge to contact state police barracks in Hazleton.